Import 3D model. At the beginning, let's open a 3D window. Go to the Windows tab. Under the common, click over 3D. We can readjust the height of the 3D window, change its position, Also, let's activate 3D Objects window next to the 3D. In this list, we will have information about all imported 3D objects or created inside the Synchro. Also, let's go to the Navigator tab and activate External Data. As for now, we have only imported our Project XML. So here it is, Schedule XML. In order to import 3D model, we can go to the file, import 3D. From this drop down, you can see all importable file extensions to the Synchro Pro. This can be CAD files, Bentley MicroStation, SketchUp files, and so on. We have a DWFX file which contains the model and topography all in one. But indeed, if you have them split down the location, material and some mechanisms, so you can import them either all together or one by one. For now, let's select this file and click open. From this window, you can either add some additional files or delete redundant ones. If everything is okay, just click on import. Then we should choose Assign to a new resource and Next. The name will be borrowed from the file name, the type will be Material and a company, New Company. Well, if you have introduced companies to the Synchro before you import 3D model, then you can select a proper company from the drop down. Click Next and from here we will choose Add resources underneath Build Tree. We've discussed this window on the previous lecture, so if you forgot what these bottoms mean, just please refer to the previous lecture. Click Next. Synchro shows us warning saying that there are some duplicated names, and it says some resource assignments will be lost if we synchronize an updated 3D file. If the intents to synchronize updated 3D file in future, we need to ensure that all names of the 3D objects are unique. But this is all a matter of the beam design, so on the face when you're creating the model, you need to take care about names of 3D objects, they should be unique. Click Finish. And our model has appeared. Take a look at the external data window. We have a 3D model, which has been imported recently. And you can read some additional non-editable -edit data below. Let's go to the 3D Objects tab. We can expand the file contents. We have flows, structural error reinforcements, structural columns, structural foundations, framings, reinforcements, topography, and walls. In order to navigate in the 3D window, use left mouse button, click and spin it. Or you can use middle button to pan model. Also, you can use the view cube to navigate to a project. The view cube appearance can be readjusted. You may go to options, then X1 3D view, manipulator. And if you untick use view cube as access indicator, so you have so you will have access representation of view cube. I suggest you to use it as a cube. Okay, so we have imported material resources. 3D objects is a very powerful window. For example, if your model is heavy and has lots of elements in it, you can simply hide it from here, and this will be unloaded from the computer's RAM and your model will be working much more faster. Let's import some equipment. Open the support and click Equipment Library. 
From here you can download Synchro Equipment Inventory PDF file or you can download by categories. So for example, I'd like to have some tower cranes. Let's import the tower crane. Make right click in external data, import 3D and select this tower crane. Click open, then import. Next, its type will be equipment. The name is borrowed from the file name. Select the first option, don't build tree, assign to this resource. And here it is. And later we will learn how to change position of the 3D objects in the 3D view.